Hi to everybody. I am Deborah, and it is important for me as one of many of my daily spiritual practices to find the time to reach out in support of victims of abuse. It is not easy to find people who are willing or even good at giving help or support to abuse victims. I know this based on my own personal experience from being abused. When I was out seeking help and support from being attacked and abused by a religious sadistic cluster B occult here in Oxford, North Carolina, the abuse got worse. It increased. The, bu the abuse got worse. It became more intense and more dangerous. What was really very devastating to me was how this Oxford, North Carolina religious sadistic occult was very successful in recruiting many of my previous family members, friendships, co-workers, church folks, government workers, and other professional relationships that I had as flying monkeys to further abuse me, which caused the abuse against me to really intensify. This type of abusive, sadistic mistreatment does not come from a person with a godly spirit. This negative reaction towards an abuse victim who is seeking help can be very damaging. I'm sure that it is designed to cause a victim to want to put an end to their own life. It would be devastating to know if what happened to me was happening to other abuse victims. Because the topic that I'm discuss discussing can cause someone with a dysfunctional, toxic cluster B or sadistic personality to become triggered in a negative, negative way, I put on the full armor of God so that I will be able to stand against the devil's schemes. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, I reject all vicious, kill, steal, and destroy attacks against my mind, body, spirit, and soul. I request that the resurrection powers of Jesus Christ to come forth on behalf of my safety, protection, peace, security, health, life, and well-being. We have heard so much about the narcissist abuser, but what I have found to be even more abusive are the people who have sadistic personalities. They are the master and at the top of the line of abusive treatment against all living creatures. They will do anything they can get away with in order to hurt other people because they literally enjoy watching someone else's misery, suffering, trauma, and pain. The sadistic abuser will manipulate any person into doing what they desire. What I have learned during my constant and ongoing research is any person who has a sadistic personality is also very capable of being a serial killer. We are seeing a major increase in serial killing activities all across the United States of America. And they are thrilled when a person or an animal is being tortured, traumatized, tormented, murdered, and viciously abuse. The sadistic personality type of a person doesn't sound like a safe, healthy human being, but this is a very dangerous reality that is living all around us. What is comforting to know is that based on many scriptures, their spirit and soul are damned because they have sowed 
so much severe and serious damage upon this earth. Their cup is overflowing with God's wrath. And it is not flowing with the divine spirit of living waters. And we have to make sure that their cruel and wicked spirit will not cause us to allow our mind, spirit, soul, and heart to be corrupted. We cannot allow these dangerous demonic spirits to recruit us into the life of destruction. A person who is out here killing, stealing, and destroying God's people will fall into disaster, collapse, and downfall. Whoever walks with integrity will be delivered, but he who is crooked in his ways will suddenly fall. This is from Proverbs chapter 28, verse 18. This is the path that the sadistic cluster B abuser has chosen to take for their life here on this earth. And we must continue to receive, to understand, and to accept the knowledge about those who receive pleasure from and who enjoy killing, stealing, and destroying us.